So, uh, we had a week. Yeah, we participated in NBA Sports Deck this week. All I'm gonna say is, if you don't feel like playing NBA Sports Deck anymore, then that's perfectly reasonable. This week was messed up. It started before lockout. Woke up and saw Jimmy Butler was out. So we had to change our plans. Jimmy out. And then I saw the news, Zach Levine questionable with an illness. So I played it safe and traded him out. And of course he goes on to get 90 in three games. Lost 18 points there because I kept CP3 instead. It was just bad from day one. The only good thing to come out this week was we brought back Nikola Jokic. And he's the only one that turned up in this team. Oh, and there was also Franz Wagner who found his scoring touch again. And of course I benched him this time. Everything I do seems to go wrong. So I don't know. I don't know at this point. Of course I'm going to keep going, but it's just a shame that I decided to commit to a sports deck series when I'm having my worst year. Even worse than the first year I did this. Trades this week are going to be very, very tough. We only have three trades to use, and I think over half the team needs to be traded. Every year, every year I do a fantasy sport, Supercoach sports deck, we manage to build a team that just always gets injured. I don't know how we do it, but it just happens. We got another hospital team to deal with. Where do I even begin? There's a lot of question marks around trades at the moment. Just messing around with different combinations, seeing what works for the team. What I know I'm going to do is I'm going to trade out Lamelo Ball because he's in health and safety protocols. I'm going to bring in DeJounte Murray because the Spurs play five. Other than that, I don't know. My first option would be CP3 and Porzingis out. My thinking behind that is that I'm banking on Luca and Giannis to come back and at least match the two games CP3 plays this week. Porzingis is under that same injury cloud. We don't know when he comes back. But the difference with him is that he's a pod. So if keeping him backfires, then it's going to hurt me and not too many other people. So I'd rather trade him out and not have to worry about the question marks around him. Man, I wouldn't be in this position if I kept Levine over Chris and traded in Jared Allen. But here we are, having to clean up after a couple more poor decisions. It's just been like that every week. But we'll push through and hopefully have a strong finish to the season. That's all we can hope for. I've got 24 mil. If I trade out Lamelo, CP3, KP, DeJounte's in, and the two players. I could potentially bring in. I could go KD, but it only leaves me with enough for Desmond Bain, Alec Burks, or Tyus Jones. They're fine, but I already have Maxi and Franz on field. I'll field Franz. So I don't really want a third player that could easily put up a stinker and set me back. Embiid I could bring in as well, but I fall just short of Garland so I'm not gonna do that however I could go LeBron James and bring in either Mobley or Garland and I think I like Mobley over Garland I know Garland tunned but I don't know I just like Mobley a little more and that will leave me with 574k I could also trade out Luca, and that would give me enough for Garland and someone like Harden. I don't really like that as much though because of the Porzingis risk. 
So I might go with option one. I won't be surprised if Luca and Giannis miss games. I just hope they come back soon enough. And I don't want to run that risk with KP. So he goes. LeBron wasn't my first option, but it works with the trades I'm doing. Of course, I would have rather someone else with back-to-back -back fours, but LeBron works for this week, so we'll go with it. 574k in the bank, DeJounte, LeBron, Evan Mobley in the team, and we'll captain Joker. You know, chuck the vice on DeJounte, because why not? And this is what the team will look like heading into week 8. I know a couple of weeks ago I said I've got a plan that I feel will give us a pretty strong team by week 8. That's not the case anymore because of all the injuries. I've just had to continuously patch things up. And these band-aid fixes are just preventing me from making any upgrades. We've got Spencer who I've got to trade out. We got Maxi who I've got to trade out. They're both leaking cash now, but I can't trade them because everyone else is getting injured. It's real frustrating, but we'll get the full premium eventually and hopefully the good scores will come in from there. But at this point, all we can do is just hope for the best and just hope for no injuries. That would be a very nice start. But we'll see, because obviously Luca still day to day, Giannis still questionable. I don't think the pain will end this week, but if we can build the next two, three weeks and eventually get the full premium, I think we'll be okay. Schedule this week, just like every other week. Take a look at who plays for what works with your team. Goes without saying, if you can pick up a star that plays four, then by all means do it. So KD will be popular in that regard. In terms of pods, Harden, I'd say is a pod. He's had his ups and downs, but still an elite player, so he's not a bad pickup. Allen and Garland. Memphis are interesting without Jar, so Jaron Jackson might not be too bad. Philly and Bede, back-to-back fours. They have Charlotte twice this week, so that'll be really good for him. On the flip side, he's a massive injury risk, so that's always something to consider. And then obviously the Spurs play five. DeJounte Murray will be very popular this week. Then you got the Suns with two CP3s out of my team. And obviously D-Book, he got injured as well, so he's got to go. Raptors, you still got Scotty Barnes, could be a good time to upgrade from him or just bench him if you want. Oh, and the Hawks as well, Trey, Collins, Capella, if you got any of them, probably not ideal to have them this week. So that'll do it. I'm not 100% on my trades just yet. We'll see what other options work besides LeBron and Mobley. I could go with something like Garland and Allen. We'll see. But either way, whatever I do will be the wrong decision. So I'll just have to settle on one and then experience the pain later. But good luck to you all for week eight and see you guys in the next one.